first lecture, Features of Architecture in Late Antique in Byzantine Ravenna, from 102 to 751. This first lecture of the course on Late Antique and Byzantine Architecture in Ravenna is composed of two parts. In the first part, we will study the typological features of the most important architecture in Ravenna from the 5th century to the 8th centuries AD. And in the second part, we will study materials and construction methods and the importance of mosaics in the decorations which characterize late antique and Byzantine era in Ravenna. Typological features of sacred architecture, basilicas and central plan buildings. Christianity spread in Ravenna very early. Ravenna's elevation to the status of the capital city determined a great increase in the number of places of worship, due both to the increase in population and the fact that it had become the second most important diocese after Rome. Starting from Apollinaris, the bishops of Ravenna promoted the building of many religious complexes, which were noteworthy both for their prestige and their dimensions. One of the most important types of sacred architecture in Ravenna between the 5th and the 6th centuries was the basilica. It features a longitudinal plan with a large central nave flanked by lower aisles. The courtyard in front of the church is framed by porticos and an element that serves as a vestibule, a second vestibule against the façade, exonardex, and another inside the nave, endonardex. Scholars have identified models of the Christian basilica, both in Roman basilicas, highlighting the similarities in terms of forms and structures. Longitudinal plan, small aisles, wooden roof and in the halls of civil and palatial basilicas having a sacred character. The early Christian basilicas in Ravenna generally had a nave and two aisles, divided by rows of columns. They received light through round arched windows set in the higher part of the sides of the nave, as in the case of San Polinare in Nuovo and Santa Polinare in Classe. In these basilicas, the shape of the apse semicircular on the inside and polygonal on the outside is original and directly reflects the influence of Eastern architecture, which resulted in the creation of a new style that would become typical of the architecture of Ravenna. A rich mosaic decoration often covered the walls of the apse, whose roof was usually made of clay tubes, a building technique largely used in Ravenna. The roof of the nave and aisles by contrast, was built with timber trusses, sometimes covered by a false ceiling. Central plan, sacred buildings are related in their design to the ancient martyrium, building devoted to the cult of martyrs and the baptistry. In Ravenna, the most important buildings of this type are the Mausoleum of Gala Placidia, the Neonian Baptistry, the Mausoleum of Theodoric, and the Basilica of San Vitale. These buildings differ greatly from one another in terms of function, materials, building techniques, and symbolic meanings. In the mausoleum of Gala Placidia, originally linked to the portico of the Church of Santa Croce, the central space is characterized by a cruciform plan. The arm where the entrance is located is slightly longer than the other three ones. The central part of the building is covered by a dome on pendentives and the four arms by barrel vaults. Inside, above the cornice of the vaults, all surfaces are decorated with mosaics whose design is based on an iconological plan that is influenced by the models of Constantinople. The baptisteries usually had an octagonal plan linked to the meaning of the number eight, symbol of regeneration and resurrection, thus alluding to baptism. This shape can also be found in churches, as in the case of San Vitale. Here, the configuration is more complex and referred to as a double shell. The polygonal inner space covered by the central dome is surrounded by lower spaces on two levels with an ambulatory and a matronium. The main central space and the side ones are linked and separated at the same time by big pillars which alternate on the first level with curved exedras with arches on columns, which create various light and special effects. 
the mausoleum of Theoderic as a central plan, like San Vitale, but its conformation and its building style qualify it as a wholly original and unique example of architecture. Built entirely of Arizina marble, the building is more than 15 meters high and is composed of three superimposed volumes, a decagonal base and a rower upper volume which is decagonal and then becomes circular on top and a flattened circular dome made out of a single monolith. The mausoleum represents an extraordinary architectural invention where elements of different origin find an innovative and unprecedented synthesis, thus reaching a constructive and symbolic complexity. This may be the very reason why it was never imitated in the following centuries. Materials and Construction Techniques Most late antique and Byzantine buildings in Ravenna were completed, modified and transformed decades or centuries after they were initially built. Thus, we can often find a great variety of materials, techniques and languages in the same building. In general, the walls are much thinner than in classical Roman architecture. The masonry structures of Ravenna were not built using stone or concrete, unlike the Roman ones, but rather with bricks, whose dimension varied over the centuries. Flat longitudinal roofs, such as those of the basilicas, were usually a structure of timber trusses, whereas the domes were usually made with clay tubes. The latter was a building system typical of the Roman and Western world. It consisted in hollow clay elements that were arranged in concentric circles, thus defining the geometry of the dome. Among the earliest examples of such a structure are the apse of the Basilica Ursiana and the dome of the Dionian Baptistry. The same technique was also used in the following century to build the great dome of the Basilica of San Vitale. The marble used in the architecture of Ravenna in late antiquity was usually taken from other buildings. This is clear because of the heterogeneity of the materials used for the shafts or of the columns and because of the differences that can often be found among the capitals in a single building. During the age of Justinian, by contrast, only new materials, such as Proconesian marble from the east, were used. The mosaics and the image of architecture. The tight bond between architectural structure and mosaic decoration is one of the most important elements of the architecture of Ravenna. The term mosaic dates back to late antiquity and was used to refer to wall decorations and the seating of nymphae. This technique consisting in the overlaying of small marble of glass tiles on several plaster layers probably originated in the Middle East, Mesopotamia in particular around 2400 BC. However, the technique spread most widely in the 4th century BC, when mosaics were used to decorate the interior of buildings, both public or residential ones, of particular prestige. In ancient Rome, the geometric mosaic was initially the most frequently used. Its infinite variations applied as a complement of the architecture of buildings, from the most humble to the most important ones. Basilicas, spa buildings, but also patrician houses. Mosaics spread in Ravenna between the 4th and the 6th centuries AD and then developed in particular during late antiquity and the Byzantine period. Over the centuries, the mosaics of Ravenna were renovated and reconstructed several times, but in most cases, the original iconography and colors were preserved. Thus, they are one of the most important examples in the whole ancient world. The mosaic decoration of the Neonian Baptistry is one of the richest and best preserved in Ravenna. The decoration of the dome is particularly noteworthy. Depicted in the central ring is a scene of the baptism of Christ surrounded by a procession of the apostles, with St. Peter and St. Paul, and a band with illusionistic architectural features. Inside the mausoleum of Gala Placidia, there are no architectural decorations. All the surfaces of the dome, the vaults, and the arches are covered by rich mosaics. 
It is the oldest decorative mosaic cycle preserved in Ravenna. In the entrados of the dome, we can find a typical subject of Byzantine art, golden stars against a deep blue background, arranged in concentric circles around a golden cross at the center. The magnificent, famous mosaics of Santa Polinare Nuovo extend along the central nave and they date back to the age of Theodoric, when the basilica was converted from an Arian to an Orthodox church during the age of Justinian. They were largely modified. The most important decoration is the one set in two large bands over the arcades that divide the nave in aisles. In particular, the lower one is crowded with two long processions of figures. On the right, male saints going out from the palace of Theoderic. On the left, female saints and virgins going out from the Civitas classis, both symbolically directed towards the main altar. One of the most famous mosaic cycles in Ravenna is the one in the apse of San Vitale. It celebrates Christ and the Emperor, who was considered Christ's reflection on earth, through the representation of historical events and of the religious theme of the Eucharist. At the center of the apse, there is a young Christ seated on a blue sphere, which is the symbol of the universe. Standing at his sides are San Vitale, who is receiving the crown of his martyrdom, and the bishop Ecclesius, who is offering a model of the church that he founded. At the lower level, there are two processions, which represent the imperial offerings to the city of Ravenna. On the left, there is the emperor Justinian, surrounded by figures among whom are the bishop Maximianus and the general Belisarius. On the right there is the Empress Theodora, who is offering a golden goblet for the consecration of the basilica, surrounded by dignitaries and court ladies. The figures are immobile and they have no third dimension. The depth is completely erased and the forms are mainly geometrical. They are the result of an abstraction process that is typical of Byzantine art.